This is going to be pretty cool tomorrow. Downtown Tampa will become home to the nation's newest Gold Star Family Monument, dedicated to those who have sacrificed a loved one for our freedoms. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser has a preview of this newest addition to Tampa's Riverwalk and why it is such a fitting tribute where we live. It brings me to tears. It does. For Tony Gross and more than 300 Gold Star families in the Tampa Bay area, the dedication of a new Gold Star family memorial along downtown Tampa's Riverwalk is deeply personal. Because it is a reminder, but it's a, it's a good reminder. Gold Star families have sacrificed a loved one for our freedom and in many ways continue to sacrifice. For the Gross family, it was the loss of their son Frankie, July 16th, 2011. I think tend to forget that, um, forget the service of the fallen and, and the sacrifice of the families. Tampa is a strong military community, home to McDill Air Force Base, Central Command, and U.S. Special Operations Command. Herschel Woody Williams, a World War II veteran and Medal of Honor recipient, has helped bring Gold Star Family Memorials to cities around the nation. Gold Star families for the first time in communities are coming together getting acquainted with each other and being able to share with each other the grief that they have carried regardless of how long it's been. This will actually be Tampa's second Gold Star Memorial. The first was unveiled back in 2015 at a Tampa Middle School. There are now 73 Gold Star Memorials. 73 more are still in the works. We particularly thought it should, ought to be in a location to where the uh, people of Tampa and people visiting Tampa would have the opportunity to visit it. Tampa's memorial is loaded with symbolism. Lady Liberty raising the flag at Iwo Jima, a space in the form of a soldier missing and missed. It's beautiful and I'm, I'm grateful that the city of Tampa and the different foundations have done such a thing to honor the service, of the service and sacrifice of the fallen and the families they left behind. So glad we're going to have such an important monument uh, in, in our beautiful city. You know, the land surrounding the monument was set aside by the city of Tampa. It's being renamed McDill Park. It's a spot where they hope that our local military community can interact with the public since high security at the Air Force Base can sometimes make hosting those sorts of events really challenging.